those that came from up north and the east coast. I really appreciate it. Amazing. Thank you. Today we've got two really illustrious and informed speakers. We have Peg Putt and Peter Wish Wilson. But first I'd like to say a few things that you may already know about Monsanto or things that might really upset you if you do. <laughs> what we're here to do today is to save our farmers from a cycle of buying patented seed and being forced to rebuy seed every year along with herbicides that they're told they don't need but they have to purchase time and time again for GM crops. There's no evidence of uh, higher yields with GM, GMO products and crops, which is a claim that Monsanto makes that they can feed the world. Apparently most of the world's hungry live in countries where there's a surplus of food. It's not more science we need, it's more local farmers, more natural farmers and more backyard farms. The and all I want you to do today is remember that every little thing we do helps. We don't need their money, we don't need their seeds, and we certainly don't need their chemicals. It takes about three minerals to get a balance in the soil, and microorganisms and worms will do the rest. So really just real food comes from the ground, so start from the ground up. Tell your friends, do whatever you can. Um, and every time you buy local, every time you buy fresh, you're sticking it to Monsanto. Now there are three things you can do. You can download the Bicot app. It's a new app that you can get for your smartphone or iPhone. It will basically show you which multinational your hard-earned money is going to, so you can avoid the product. And if it doesn't go off, you probably shouldn't need it. Buy heritage seed and open pollinated seed. Join a seed savers group. I don't know about Tassie, but we can find more about that. Buy from diggers.com. Support the people that are working really hard to keep heritage varieties alive. 